Guys, today we have a 2012 Audi A1 here with us and we're going to show you how to add Apple CarPlay, wireless CarPlay and Android Auto to the factory display. So in the kit, you're going to have the installation diagram, which is just an overview on what you need to do, the interface itself, all of the wiring, which we're going to go through and the new touch display, which goes over the original screen. Here is the interior in the Audi A1. So any car that looks like this, A1 and Q3, you can add Apple CarPlay to. As you can see here, it is a decent infotainment system but no Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Once we've fit the module, it will all become touchscreen and it will be touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All right, first step is going to be removing the radio using Audi radio removal keys. And there's just a few plugs on the back that you'll need to remove. Once the radio is out, we need to remove the screen. So we're gonna remove this panel here, unplug it and behind it is a screw which holds the screen in place. Once you've got that screw out, you can use a plastic tool here and here to release the two clips and the screen comes up and out. Once you've got the screen out, there's two plugs on it and a couple of clips that can be hard to get out, so just take your time with them. And when you're removing the screen, there's two clips that hold it into the dash. You have to be very careful that you actually press them in before lifting up, otherwise they'll break. So you wanna keep them both intact like this. Next up is the glove box. So glove box is one Torx 20 right here, three Torx 20s at the top, two Torx 20s towards the back and two at the bottom. Now with all of that stuff out of the way, I'm thinking the module can go right up in here. There's plenty of room so we can zip tie it there, get it out of the way. And we've got all of the plugs here which we're gonna go through. First step is video. So this pink cable here is the video cable. In the kit, you're gonna have a supplied gray cable. So gray is gonna go to pink with the female. And then we're gonna run this to the module. And then from the module, a new pink is going to come up and take its place. So the original connector is plugged into the grey coming down here. The new, connect, the new connector is right here, runs up behind the dash over to here. So that's just going to go back into the pink port of the radio. At this time, decide where you want to put your USB. Okay, this comes in the kit. Okay, we've put ours right down there tucked away, so it's nice and easy to get to on fly lead. Next up is your touch cable. Okay, so this comes in the kit. On one end you've got this, which goes up to the screen, because on one end of the touch panel, it's got a little plug that goes into this. And then on the other end, it's gonna be a little bit short, but this comes in the kit as well, which is an extension harness. So plug that in, it only goes one way. And then on the very other end, you've got this here, which goes into the touch port of the interface. Okay, so we're gonna run this up to the screen, this to the module, and that's ready to go. Um, and apart from that, you've got the Wi-Fi antenna to go into the module. And the very last thing, is the microphone. So you can put that wherever you want. Okay guys, the CAN gateway plug, so that's the main section of the harness, which comes up to here, which goes right to here. And then that's the main plug. This is the, oh sorry, this is the main, this is the secondary. This plug here branches off to a T harness, which you need to run behind the climate control so you can remove it to do so. Over to here, that whole panel just drops right down, it's all clips. And then you can guide it sort of up behind the steering wheel over to here where this orange fiber optic connector is. Okay, so it plugs in down there underneath. So if I come back, you'll be able to see right underneath the wheel. You're gonna unplug the original plug that's right next to the orange. So as you can see, that's the original plug there. That's our new one that we've done our plug and play section with and that can go up away behind the steering wheel, which will get mounted up nicely. But what we wanna do now is just test that that works. Okay, with all of that done, we can now look at the screen. I'm not going to lie, the screen is pretty hard. So if you're not confident in this, take it to a professional. What we need to do for the screen is firstly remove the back cover. Once that's removed, it will expose another two Torx 20s. So you can see one there, one there. That will release the screen from the housing. We then need to take the front bezel off which will then allow you to lay the touch panel. And you may even need to shave the insides of the bezel so that it doesn't touch the screen. So there's a fair bit going on there. I'll keep you updated as we go. First step is just gonna to be to use a plastic tool, press down on this cover between the cover and the screen right here and release it. So it'll pop down and out, it'll come out and you go from there. Okay, so once you've got the touch panel on, just secure it down with some tape around. And then once you start putting it back in place, the screen or the touch panel will be held in place with the original clips. But what you need to do, the next part is the front face. So just check that it fits nicely and that it's not touching the panel. Because if it is, the touch won't work properly and you'll need to shave this down. And once you've got your screen done, you can basically grab the module, plug in the USB, plug in the power, plug in the touch 
plug in your pink cable to LVDS in and the greater LVDS out and then you run your touch cable the other side of it up here to the screen and that's pretty much it we can neaten all this cabling up get the module zip tied up in here and start testing all right guys that is it so we've got the screen in place right now we did have to shave this panel down okay so just so you know you will have to do that um, everything else is pretty much in we're just at the testing phase now so once she's in what we want to do is press and hold the voice button right here on the steering wheel that's going to switch you over to apple carplay and as you can see here we've got touchscreen apple carplay android auto and wireless apple carplay all works with the factory sound system so if we've got volume and basically after this all you need to do is put the back of the screen on put it back into place put the screw in put that panel back in put everything else back together we also did a camera so if we go into reverse You'll see camera image pop up right there and it has dynamic guidelines as well that move with the wheel. And that is pretty much the system guys, so pretty straightforward. The only thing to take note of is the screen can be very difficult if you've not done it before. So it's either going to take you a really long time or you'll need a professional. The CAN junction is under the steering wheel, so make sure you remember that. And other than that, pretty much straightforward plug and play installation. If you have any questions about this, drop them in the comments below. If you want to pick up this exact kit, first link in the description. You can also reach out to us on that link. It's www.shoptfb.com. That's all our contact details, anything you need. Uh, other than that, subscribe to the channel, like the video. We'll catch you in the next one.